What up, nerds? Welcome to another pod stash. Ooh, no, that is not the right thing. Pod stash. No, sorry. Let's go back. Look, sorry. you're known as you're known as the stash. That's right, fine. Right, right. And we can call it a pod I, I, stash I, if you want. I kind of wanted to take over the show. I'm sorry. This okay. is a nerd fellas show. We usually refer to it as nerdcast. nerdcast. Um, but I'm Mike. You know why? You know why I said it? It's because we're in my environment today. This is your environment. That's why. I'm this like, oh, this is like a pod stash. No, no, If no. you notice in the background, there's a lot of uh, yeah, Batman lot figures. Of stuff. So it's we're awesome. in Martin's domain. Right. <laughs> anyway, I am Martin. Of course, this is Mike. And we have a very, 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 very special guest with us today. Uh, it is... He is one of the stars of Ozark on Netflix. On Netflix. One I, of the I mean, best shows on Netflix. Now, right that, now, that show is super intense. It's hard to binge because it's so dark, but it, it's awesome. I love the show so far. Um, his name is Evan George Vorizeras, and he's joining us today via telephone call. Uh, hi, Evan. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. And uh, uh, first, I, I just wanted to you know commend you on on the show. The show's great. Um, it's got a like a, everyone I've talked to that has seen it loves the show. Um, tell me, tell me, like, tell me about, um, tell me about you a little bit. Like, how did you kind of get started in the whole acting? Well, uh, back in 2012, uh, uh actually back in 2010, I, I, I started acting because my friend, uh, Anna Brutal is like one of my good friends. Um, she went to the Art Institute of Houston. And she inspired me to be an actor because I was a part of her film project for the school. Uh, she she knew I had talent. And she knew that I could um, go forward with acting. Well, so she believed in me. That's awesome. She believed in me. Yeah. So that's how I started in acting because she inspired me. That is actor. that is awesome, and so she inspired you to be an actor. And um, what was was she the main inspiration? Did did maybe a movie you watched inspire you as well? Uh, what wanted to get you acting? Well, um, whenever I start off, like uh, even though she inspired me to be in a in a movie, I I took the uh, the, the big step in my career. Uh, as an actor, I I ended up uh, going to this a- acting school in downtown Houston uh, with uh, ongoing acting classes with Crystal with Crystal Martinez and the uh, uh, Crystal believed in my uh, my goals and, and my achievements. She has a uh, Crystal has a great heart. She 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 believes in her students. She believes in in a uh, people. So I, I I had a feeling that when I started acting, like she worked with me with my um uh she worked with me through acting through uh scripts. Like if I was out of place in in the scene, she she has to figure out how to um uh have a stopping point for me because sometimes I can't read Seven pages or okay. or eight. Oh, okay, so it, gotcha. Yeah, so basically uh, for her, I, I have Down syndrome, so I'm higher um, I'm higher functioning, but it's like there's some things that I can't do, and she and she helps me, and um, it's kind of like uh, hold on a second, uh, it's kind of like uh, she helps me. Through acting, through uh, my speech, uh, helping me gain my a, co- a confidence. That is awesome, and that's that's good. So you have a couple of inspirations that got you into acting. So and and it's hard for you know anyone to get into acting. So you know the fact that you're living out this dream is awesome. Um, can you tell us about one of your very first roles? And you know, were you nervous? Were you excited? And what was that role? So um, whenever I auditioned for the uh, Netflix original series Ozark, I I went to acting class, and my acting 
acting coach told the students that I, ha I have an audition uh, later after class, and I, um, I, I, I didn't know what it was. <laughs> I, I, I didn't know what it was until uh, after class was over. Oh, wow. She, she said, she, she told me, um, okay, I did such a, uh, okay, I did such an audition. And she said, okay. And I asked her what the audition was for. I, I, I asked, um, she asked me, what do you think of the audition, Evan? Okay. Uh, I think, I, I think I definitely did. I, I, I think I, I, think, I think I did all, all right. <laughs> so whenever I went home, because I didn't, she didn't tell me what the name of the show. Right. Um, uh, so whenever I went home, I, I was trying to think what it was. And I get a phone call from my talent, my talent agency, and my talent agency said, Hey, Evan. Can I tell you something? Congratulations on getting the uh, uh, knowing your auditions for that uh, recording role on that uh, Netflix original series. Wow! Oh, wow! And okay, before <laughs> that, did you know that Jason Bateman was going to be on that show? No, I, I actually I didn't know about it. If I if I <laughs> <laughs> it kind of inspired me because my my acting coach got me too, too excited. I was like, I was hyped. I was yelling. I was oh, wow. that's awesome. Serious. That <laughs> is that is awesome. Did you? Uh, yeah. Were you a fan of Jason Bateman? Actually, I was. Uh, me and my dad always go to the movie, uh, to the movies, and we watch. Uh, Jason Bateman and Sexual Intelligence, and also uh, Office Christmas Party. Office Christmas Party, yeah. Oh, that's right. <laughs> so, okay, what uh, would you, what would you say your favorite, J what's your favorite Jason Bateman movie? I would say um, uh, his my favorite movie of Jason Bateman. I would say Sexual Intelligence. Ah, uh, okay, oh, okay, that's awesome. I was actually going to ask you, so, you know, it's it's funny because, you know, you, you like the uh, the comedic Jason Bateman, mm -hmm. and then we have a big contrast with Ozark. It's his more serious role, so that's that's pretty awesome that, you know, because he can do both. Have you, and, you know, since this is one of your major roles in a serious show, are you looking to do other things? I mean, what are you most looking forward to, comedy, horror, or is sky the, the sky the limit? What do you want to do? Well, I want to do everything. I, I like I, I like to be funny. I, I like I, I like drama, scary, uh, romance. <laughs> yeah, let's get you into but, a leading role with uh. Who's your favorite act? Like who? Who would you say is like your your Hollywood crush? My Hollywood crush. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that <laughs> one. Um, I would say uh, Vanessa Vasquez. Oh, okay. Who's uh, I'm not familiar with her right off the top of my head. I, I think I have to look her up, but um, Vanessa, uh, Vanessa is my Hollywood crush because she was on a um, is it called uh, The Brave uh, East Lost High? Oh, uh, okay. She, she played uh, a character called Camila. Uh, Camila, okay. I think I know. I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And, okay, so like, uh, for the few. Okay, so are you working on anything right now that you could talk Actually, about? I know that you know, a lot of people can't really speak about true current projects. But is there anything right now that you're currently working on? Well, basically, I I'm going back in a few weeks uh, to uh, back to Ozark. Oh wow! Nice season two. You ready? You excited? Season two. Yes, I am. I can't. I'm excited. I can't wait to see what happens next because I mean this show just took me for a ride. I I love it, and you know you you, you play the the best friend of Jason Bateman's son. Um, you know his basically his only friend out there, and you know one of the scenes you yes. know 
spoiler alert, you know, one of the scenes, when they first told you about this scene, um, were you nervous when they said, hey, you're going to go in and purchase a gun? <laughs> <laughs> Because a lot of people, my mom and my dad and even my acting coach and uh, my friend uh, Tony Tony Ho, uh, uh. I, uh, why would you buy a gun for a kid? <laughs> Yeah, you know when I first when you first went in to purchase the gun, I was like, "Wait, why is he buying a gun?" I know, and I freaked out. And then when you gave it to your friend in in Ozark, I was like, "Oh no, this is even worse. What is he gonna do with the gun?" I know. So that that was an, that was an intense scene. Well, uh, whenever I started acting in this business, and being on Ozark with auditions, I started auditioning. The very first season, uh, my. Uh, I didn't know if I was allowed to bring a acting coach to set, so I I asked permission, and for the first episode of season one, I brought Crystal Martinez uh, on set. Awesome. Um, with me, uh, but they flew her out uh, to to Georgia oh, uh, awesome. to coach me. Wow, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. She must have had fun doing that. Yeah, it, it was fun, like, because in, in Atlanta, uh, basically, I'm there to work, but but whenever I'm not working, just just have, you know, go to dinner, and then uh, and the next morning, I have to go to work. No, that's good. I mean, you got to, yeah, you know, you're there, and, you know, you know, me and Martin know a little bit about that. We've been on a couple of shows, made our own things. Mm -hmm. Um I mean, even my first time setting on set, I mean, the first set I was ever on was the movie Avengers, and I was just background, you know? I didn't have a role, but, but it was fun, you know, just being there, and, you know, you go, you eat, you work, and you leave, you know? And, you know, that's just part of the process, but being around these creative people, it's it's really awesome, and you got to be around some of the best in the business, so that's that's awesome, that's inspiring. You know what's awesome is, too, uh, my brother, uh, uh, is a orthopedic surgeon in El Paso. Whoa, what? 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 Wait, say really? that again? <laughs> really? <laughs> I didn't my, know. My I, oldest, I didn't know that. My oldest brother is a orthopedic surgeon in El Paso called Alto El Paso. Wow. wow. That's awesome. There's a lot man. of El Paso connections because even, uh, I mean, you're, you were born in El Paso, right? Yeah, um, I was born in El Paso in, in 1983. Oh, wow. My brother was born in El Paso, too. But he, he has a family now up in El Paso, and he's he's working. Uh, even though that he's a, uh, a, uh, an orthopedic surgeon, me and him, we inspire each other because he does presentations, presentations through his uh, uh, company, his his own company. Okay. And he and then I do presentations as well as an advocate and also uh, through acting. But we inspire uh, we inspire each other. That is oh, awesome. Yeah. That's good to have that that brotherly love. You know, I, yeah. I didn't grow up with a brother. I had two sisters that beat me up. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, and, and actually speaking of that, you're, you're an advocate for it. There's, there's an event coming up, isn't there, that you're going to be a part of? Yes, I'm actually going to be at, um, on March 3rd of next week. I'm going to be at this, uh, event called the Night, the, the Night of Superstars. Awesome, oh, Night wow. of Superstars. Well, and what is, what is it for and, and how are you involved? So, I got involved because, um, I, I've been following, uh, this girl named Hailey. Hailey uh, has a daughter that has autism. And um, uh, so every year, every, uh, every year they do this event for people with disabilities that have disabilities uh, about their uh, acknowledgments, achievements, and, and what they do in life. Okay. And so um, they can have red carpet. They can have like a, a banquet uh, for the uh, for the superstars. The superstars 
are the ones that have ill abilities, uh, or what they exceeded in, in this life. Mm-hmm. And so I, I got, I got the opportunity to be a celebrity, celebrity escort on the red carpet. Wow. That is awesome. And, and I mean, you're going to bring a lot of inspiration to everyone there because I mean, you're, you're showing everyone, doesn't matter where you're from, who you are, you can follow your dreams and do what you want to do. And that's awesome. Yeah, sure. Well, I always focus on that all the time because uh, through uh, my acting career, you know, in acting class uh, with Crystal, I, uh, even though my heart, I use my heart. I, you know, I'm Evan, but I will always use my heart because I care about everybody's dreams and hopes. But I, I tell people not to give up on their dreams because we only have one life, and that life should be uh, make ourselves happy. And, um, but I give it up. Whenever I started being an actor, uh, I, I almost died in a car crash last year. Wow. Um, yeah, um, it was worse, and I, because I was going to a, a movie, a movie premiere in Houston, in downtown, and I only remember. It's getting into the car with my friend David Romo. Um, we ended up uh, in my subdivision. Before I know it, I'm I'm in a hospital. Oh um, wow! Yeah, I'm wondering why I'm there because we were T-bones. Ooh. My friend got it. My friend got it worse than I did, um, and and then. I, but for me, even though I was a passenger, I I busted my jaw Oof. and I hurt my and I hurt my neck. But the the the, the main thing I, I hurt my mouth. So they put metal to uh, replace it with the bone. Oh um, man, that's tough. Well, we're all glad that you're doing well, much much better now. Um, yeah. Hopefully that had that hadn't hindered you too much how long were you were you out for so the car accident uh, uh, happened on april april 21st of 2017 and 16 actually yeah 16 um so i was out see april may about april, about a month oh wow about a month Wow, so, man, you, it, you have like special abilities. Like, I know you heal you really just, quick, yeah. <laughs> just like Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, but I, I kind of I realized one thing too is that being an actor on this Netflix show, it was like everybody's fun to work with, like Jason Bateman. I bet. How, Bateman how is that? Jason Bateman makes me laugh. It's funny because uh, if you see the shows, uh, that he, he has done, like you, you will, you will look at him and you think, um, why is he not funny? But he's <laughs> serious and funny. Yeah, he's serious. Yeah. It's funny. And so, <laughs> so like his personality is like that we see in movies and shows. Is that how he is in real life? Yeah, um, not, not in real life, but whenever he's on set, he means business. He, yeah. But uh, on Ozark, uh, all he wants is to have a great cast, the great production, uh, uh, having fun on set. And but Jason is fun to hang out with on set. That's awesome. I bet. He, that is he just, cool. He just, whenever you're tired, he'll wake you up right quick. <laughs> He's like, hey, let's go, let's go, let's get to work. Right. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I I also realized too is that uh, be, it, you know last year of July I was on Great Day Houston with Deborah Duncan, uh huh, C C W forty nine in Houston, and along with Crystal, my coach, and uh, that was amazing. Just talking about Ozark, oh yeah, uh, on, on TV. Oh, so, right, yeah. 
Uh, so, in fact, I think yeah. we we caught some of that. We we watched it a little bit uh, when you were on that show. It looked like you guys were having a lot of fun for sure. Yeah, we were actually worried. That was like the best night. Actually, when I think about it, that was the best night ever. Like, <laughs> great day, Houston, great, great night, uh, great day, Houston, CW39, and a doing party of Ozark. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. And so, for the future, uh, Evan, what what are what are your plans? Like, do you you know like these big cinematic universes, like um, the MCU, which is all the Marvel stuff. Uh, the DC, or like even Star Wars. Is there anything in particular that you would love to work on? I um, I would like to work on uh, that kind of stuff. I would like to work on a Marvel films. Yeah. Um, I don't like to do that because I like action. I like I, I like I like doing stunts. Oh That's wow! That's my. I, I like doing that kind of stuff, and so. After uh, I gotta realize too, even though I was part of Ozark, I would like to expand more, to see more, and uh, that ha- that has roles that I could be a, a stunt double. That would or, be awesome! Oh, wow. Dang, yeah, so you want to really get like serious in the stunt work? Yeah, I, I, I actually like stuff because I like I like jumping off. Uh, I like doing flips. I like. <laughs> oh, that's uh, so cool! I can't even I, do a flip. I like, <laughs> yeah, see, we can't. Uh, we, I feel like, I, I feel like we're old men already, and we can't do flips. And even though we're not, we're not that old. And I tried parkour <laughs> once, and I'm never gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, so, uh, uh, you know what's cool though? You want to know what's cool? Uh, my, uh, my, I actually coach was in a, in a movie uh, in El Paso. It's a Christian film. Called the Unlimited. The Unlimited. Uh, That's right. I've heard of that. Is she oh, from El Paso as well? Well, um, she's uh, she's Spanish, but she um, she, she did a uh, that film a long time ago, oh, back okay. in 2012. Uh, she was a lead actress for Unlimited. That is so awesome. It, so, but it's kind of it's kind of cool that. I have a, con- a connection that uh, my coach did a film in El Paso. I'm from El Paso. We're, we're from El Paso. We're from El Paso. <laughs> and then we even have a mutual yeah. friend from El Paso that lives over in California, Chris. Yeah, Chris Velasquez. Christopher. Yeah. So oh, yeah. That, that's such a I, small world, man. I'm actually on Facebook Live right now, but I just want to say, <laughs> Christopher, Christopher, I love you, man. You're awesome. <laughs> Thanks for the... Thanks for the gig, and uh, I'm I'm proud of you. What you're doing in California, keep it up. You see my home home flight biscuit. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, man. Yeah, we yeah. we also got to give up a lot of love for Chris as oh, well. Oh yeah, um, the guy just always comes through with like amazing opportunities, amazing so, connections, like connecting us with you. So yeah, I mean, so, Chris is awesome. Yeah, we have a lot to to thank him for, definitely. Thankful for Chris because uh, a long time ago, uh, my cousin uh, used to be an actor uh, um, in Chris's film called *The Crossing of Thomas*. Uh, that has to do with the the Mexican border, uh, crossing the border of mm-hmm. Mexico, and and my cousin was the lead actor, and he never finished a project because um, of, of funding, of funding. But um, I. Uh, I kind of helped Chris a little bit on set as a crew member, but um, my cousin had a scene. Um, he fought with a, a, another actor, so. Oh no! <laughs> I, was, I was holding, I was holding the boom, the boom, and uh, Christopher was laughing at me because I was laughing. <laughs> he has a, yeah, it's funny. I was laughing because it was funny. That well, I mean, uh, it is. I mean, it may, maybe not to them at the time, but to you for sure, I, I would right. be laughing. But um, but I realized something too is that uh, as an actor, uh, even though Christopher inspires me, he's he inspired me ever since 
my cousin was an actor. Like, we support each other. But the only thing as an actor, I would never give up. I'm always going to live my dreams. I'm always going to love uh, what I do in acting class. Uh, uh, I'm going to acting classes with Crystal. And uh, I'm always going to uh, show my love and compassion t- towards to other people. And, and I, I, I'm never going to let that go. Um, uh, the Night of Superstars, uh, my coach uh, and her, her, uh, my friend Tony is going to c- come uh, with me to the Night of Superstars. Nice. Are they also going to be course. escorts along with you? Yeah, they're actually uh, my guests. Okay, awesome. My, my guests, but I, I only can bring uh, two guests to the party. Hey, well, you know, it's let kinda... they can stay home and you can bring me and Martin right, instead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> it's, 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 it's actually uh, 12 hours. Hey, hey we'll, we'll make that drive. No problem. No, I'm just kidding. We're just kidding. We're just kidding. We're, well, we're, 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 um, we're about to close out and we just wanted to ask you one final question. Who's your favorite character and which character would you want to play in a movie? Um, Probably being uh, Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey. He's funny. <laughs> oh yeah, he is funny. And as far as like, what's your uh, like in comic book wise, like, what's your favorite uh, character? Comic. It could be comic book comic like book, right? Marvel, DC. Who's your favorite superhero? Pretty much. I would say Spider Man. Yes, that's mine right here. Forget about Batman. It's all about Spider Man. Oh man! <laughs> but but I, I, I like to do this all the time. I like to make people laugh on saying, "Oh, I'm right, you did." Oh, <laughs> oh man! You could definitely play Jim yeah. Carrey, yeah, maybe in like a bio. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us here on Nerd Fellas. You are our very first guest with Nerd Fellas. You know, you're more than welcome to come back on our show anytime you want uh, to be on another podcast or whatever. We'll talk about comic book movies or, you know, talk about whatever. I just want to thank you for being on the show. And definitely good luck with Ozark Season 2. We're looking forward to seeing you on that show. When does, oh, actually, when does that uh, come out? Do, do we have a date yet? Comes out in July, uh, over the summer. Okay, awesome. Nice. So keep an eye out for Ozark season two. Uh, definitely, that 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 show is so incredible. It's so dark and it's very very. And good. Evan does an amazing job yeah, on that Evan's show. Evan's awesome on that show. So if you haven't seen the first season, I you know I desperately implore you to go watch the first season. I just want to say again, thank you so much, El Paso, because uh, whenever uh, Christopher. Uh, uh, send me your way, I, I, I realized one thing, that I'm always praying hope to God uh, after all these broadcasts uh, that will lead me to Jimmy Kimmel, that will lead me to Ellen DeGeneres. Heck that yeah, to, that'd be amazing. And hopefully yeah. this is like, you know, paving the way towards that. Yeah, we're just the first little step. I know we're like we the are little, the smallest. Yeah, step. we're the we're the little guys that you step <laughs> on to get to where you need but, to get to, man. I'm just happy because I'm actually uh, 12 hours away from you right now, so uh, I, I'm very blessed to be a part of this. I really am, and I'm saying that from the bottom of my heart. Oh, oh no. thank you very much, and thank you for for being a part of our show, and we look forward to doing another one with you. Thank you so much. All right. All right. Well, you have a good night. And uh, like we said, everyone watch out for Ozark. If you haven't seen it, watch season one. Season two is coming out in the summer. And that's all from Nerd Fellas. I'm Mike. That's Evan. I'm Martin. Nerd out.